Good day, everybody. I'm going to show you today uh, multiple areas, and I'm going to also use the drone and different lookout locations to show you how badly the Lake Mead is disappearing. If you like this content, please reach down and mash the like and subscribe. We appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. But as you can see right here, we're looking out across the marina area that has been moved from the Boulder Bay. They had to bring it over here because of the lack of water. And as you'll see when I get to that point, I'll show you just how severe the area is. Now for every foot it's the lake goes up, look how far it ha would have to come out here into this desert land. That's why I say that each time it's going down the lake is getting narrower and narrower. <clears throat> so it's going to get to the point to where it's going to go down much more rapidly. You can see way over there where the lawn tramp is. We'll go down and get a better view of that. My understanding is they're extending it and widening it to make more access for boats to be able to use the lake in the next year. You can see at the tops of the islands out there where the water level could be. That's 178 feet down. It's kind of hard to tell that from here, but from the dark tips there on the mountains down to the water is 178 feet down. Look for somewhere on the right hand side, water line 2000. Water. No, it's on. it's on. This is the Lake Mead water level in the year 2000, way up here. Now, if you take a look, just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Now we're going to drive down to where the next one is. Just, just hold. In 2002, the lake level had dropped down to here. In 2008, it dropped down to here. Now they've pulled all these floating docks now. They've pulled them back up here on the, the launch ramp because they're clearly unusable anymore. I also wanted to show you what it looked like in 2011 and 2019 off of Google Earth just for a comparison that you can tell from the ones I just told you from 2000 to 2008. At least we didn't have to walk all the way in here. We drove all the way in. And I flew over towards... Yeah. Yeah. imagine as the water was going out they kept tying the dock or the marina to these concrete things. This concrete? Mm -hmm. All what? They're, they're anchors to hold the marina because they kept floating the marina farther and farther out here till it got so bad they had to move it. <laughs> this is so far down in the lake. I mean, it truly was where I where I stopped the drone looking down mm -hmm. is where the lake level should be. That's 178 feet. I mm -hmm. did it. I mean, it's GPS accurate, so it's 
you see it will come back and land exactly where it took off or I mean basically so it's accurate <laughs> Oh, it's so dry, you see that? Yeah, all of this ravine here, all uh -huh. of this should all be underwater. Way back there, way back there. A lady told us she was swimming in this area right here from here going towards the launch ramp in March of this year. I'm going to show you a Google Earth image of what it looked like in March of this year and also what it looked like in March of 2021. how far we had to drive to where the boat launch was and that's the floating boat dock right there mm -hmm. you see where that metal piece right there by the on the launch ramp mm -hmm. that's the floating dock mm-hmm It's hard to believe the drone was so high up there just to get to where the water level could uh -huh. be at full pull. Uh -huh. That was way up there. At this point, I want to give you a view looking back up where we just drove with the pickup. And this is fanning around now towards Hemingway Harbor where the marina is right now. Something to think about now as you look back up into these valleys here, that's 178 feet of drop in height, elevation. Now look how far back it's got to go to refill, to gain back every foot. You can see where the ring line was just from this year's loss. And look how far back it's got to go. The boat ramp there has been out of water for a while. And you can see way back towards the top there, you can see where it should be lake. At this point right now, I'm going to turn down with the drone so you can see the pickup. I've got the drone setting at 178 feet in the air, which is shooting down. To the 178 feet represents where the lake top would be if it were completely full of water. And looking down at my pickup, 178 feet down, it's, it's a long ways down there imagine the amount of water it's going to take for us to regain what's been lost. Okay, now we went farther up the lake to Government Wash and I'm showing you right now the famous boat that you've seen many times on the internet and it's going to be a reference point in a minute whenever I show you the Google Earth image so just keep that in mind. Uh, now as I rotate the drone around, you're going to see looking back up towards the valley there that all of this land in front of you that's green, if you can imagine, was 23 feet underwater at the beginning of the 2022 water year. Now we're actually ending the 2022 water year. so. The water starting today, which is October 1st, will be the new 2023 year. So everything you can see here is all was underwater at the beginning of this year. And now I'm going to show you back towards the other way. 
and go up higher with the drone because there are points back in here where in the Google Earth image you'll see actually had standing water in them. And if you look farther away towards the opposite side of the lake, you see where the other green areas were that the water went in. So imagine how big an area has dried up for the lake to get down to this point right now. So as you can see, we're going back towards the boat right now. And I'll put a Google Earth image in here right now that'll point to that and also to the ponds that I'm talking about. I'd like to thank everybody that made it this far into the video. If you would please mash the like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And share us out so more people will be aware of what's going on at Lake Mead. Thank you very much for watching.